my friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tanya Lavi and I'm a vocal coach from Germany, now living and working with my studio, Stage Art Studio, here in Singapore. If you haven't by now, that's the best opportunity to subscribe to my channel and of course don't forget to ring the notification bell. Right now, at this moment, we have absolutely cool merchandising out, which I'm absolutely proud because I love statement t-shirts. And this is how it looks like. Weaponize your voice, get strong and kick ass. Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. So today I looked at my YouTube comment section and I was like, whoa, what's happening? More reset, more reset. And I am telling you, so everyone was like, oh, can you please react? Can you please react? Can you say something? And here we go. We are looking at Morizette, who's already a weaponized voice. And um, if you want to see a proper breakdown too, and I'm telling you, I'm not gonna go in, I made one with the TNT boys. And of course, super important, notification bell. So please, I'm super happy if you subscribe. And that would make me much more happier if you click that wonderful notification bell. Original singer from, and I'm telling you, was Jennifer Holiday back in the 80s with that amazing musical, Dream Girls, one of my all-time favorite musical. Every song from Dream Girls is just absolutely stunning, and that whole musical is worth watching. You will really have the chills, and when you're gonna see it live, um, it's just absolutely, absolutely amazing. Um, those songs are very difficult. They take uh, a lot of precise and good work, quality work. It's a quality song. It's also a very common song to sing in auditions. It got very popular some years ago, uh, singing in those famous TV uh, auditions. And it's really, really difficult because it has a lot of different patterns inside. So it starts very slowly, then it rises up very quickly, and then you have different kind of uh, rhythms, rhythmics inside. So I'm, I'm sorry if my English will be not precise, as I am from Germany, I'm not a native English speaker. Uh, yeah, but the difficulty is, of course, creating that certain momentum and then having this amazing vocal range and then use the full potential of your vocal range. beautiful and stunning yeah so that really that dress and the whole atmosphere and that diva style is just really beautiful the song starts very 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 slowly because you need that time to build up when you are I'm not talking about her and uh, when you are singing that song you want to make sure that you have that you don't start with full volume and your full potential because otherwise you will have difficulties to build that song up so what you want to do is you really want to start to build that, creating that momentum. Here she goes soft. So just so and so, so I really like how she goes into the head voice, like, uh, and I am telling you, ah. Now then she hits that note, yeah, she has a very clean onset. I'm not going. So, and it's really starting to soft. And then these eyes are very hardly precise. They are smashing. And that's when the melody changes. It goes very soft. Oh, 
lot of brawling. Okay, just one. Okay, that ha ha. Uh, it's very good because the ha ha is from a staccato exercise. I use them to, to build. So when you want to work with your diaphragm, so that's a really good exercise. Ha ha. Because your abdominal muscle is kicking in and your diaphragm is kicking in. So when it comes to singing, 90% of your singing is through a body support. It's the fact because your whole voice is a body, everything, uh, your whole voice is a muscle, everything around is supported with muscle. And that's a good muscle, The that's a good one, ha ha. So you know, if you're gonna make ha 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 So that's when you know the abdominal muscle kicks in. What happens is just breath being pushed out, yeah? Um, yeah. It's a very, uh, it, that's a vocal analysis. I'm gonna give you today a real vocal analysis, yeah? So that song, she has a lot, she creates that song with a lot of breaks. Usually when, you wanna, when you're gonna sing that song, it's going to be a little bit more smoothly. Even though it has a lot of breaks, yeah? Turn out the mountains, turn out the mountains, yeah, scream and shout. You can say what you want, I'm not walking out. It's more like, each sentence has a stop, but then you can sing it also in one row. Um, Turn up the mountains, yeah, scream and shout, you can say what you want, I'm out walking out. That was on one breath, yeah? Turn, turn up the mountains, yeah, scream and shout, you can say what you want. So what you can clearly see is like Maurice that uses all of her body. It's really, it's really an amazing body work. She really is very expressive. Uh, that song requires a lot of body work. It requires a lot of energy and a lot of effort, but effort in the right way. So it's kind of sing along that song will not work out because it, it, it is that difficult and you have to create some energy. You have to make your adrenaline kick in. Uh, so yeah, so you can engage those bigger muscles to support you. She's really, really good. <laughs> Yeah, 
she's really a vocal beast. I mean, I mean, seriously, it's seriously, it's really a tough song, and it takes some time to practice. And uh, she's really an absolutely top singer. She has a really a weapon out of her voice, and she can express herself in a very, the her emotional. She's very emotionally expressive, and uh, it's really hard. So you know, I thought about it some days ago, and it's really hard to conquer a big stage alone, literally alone. Like you're just there alone because. Usually modern singers, they have like millions of dancers and it's always good to hide between five background singers and then 20 dancers because but, but being alone and mastering a stage alone and then this song, it's really difficult and she created a lot of stops in that song um, she sings that in an orig original range, so it's also really, really hardcore to sing it in that original range. She created some stops there, and she used a lot of crawling. Um, we know that she can roll very well, so she and <laughs> Christina Aguilera can certainly compete now. <laughs> because usually, back in, in my days, it would be Christina Aguilera, the crawling queen. Jennifer Holiday, uh, Jennifer Holiday, and then later Jennifer Hudson, which also sing it very smoothly, but also is very emotional and expressive. Um, yeah, they use a lot of growling too, it's just, I mean, Jennifer Holiday, the original one, was just like a lot of kind of screaming sound and growling, and when I heard it the first time, I was like, wow, really surprised <laughs> how she makes those high notes with that, with that kind of, um, with that kind of screaming sound, because that is what, when you, when you break, when you break it down, belting is like screaming, yeah? Hey, Pedro! Hey! That's what they say in Ital Italian, yeah? When you are screaming someone across the street, Hey! And I am telling you, Hey, Pedro! Are you here? I'm not going... That's... That is belting. Welcome! <laughs> not really exactly, yeah? So the terminology of belting is very uh, debated and controversial. So you should really... Uh, everyone has his different opinion when it comes to belting, so you really need to be a uh, kind of... Yeah, kind of looking that up to make sure that you have a good and right definition for what is belting. I'm not going. Ah. I thought that analysis. Uh, so the anal analysis. So the analysis is definitely worth to subscribe, isn't it? Ha! It is. Ha ha. <laughs> so you know what you would love to do. Actually, important is is um, pressing the notification bell because that is really. really if you enjoyed that video, thumbs up for our Mori Queen. And if you like that video, no blah blah blah. I hope I see you in my next video. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay grounded, yeah, and weaponize your voice like Mori said, damn it. Okay, tschüss!